Hi guys and girls, it's Team Massive Joe, sponsored athlete Asha Colthard. I'm here with episode number 13, Keeping Up With Asha, a fitness models journal. Um, so just a little bit of an update of what's been happening in my life the last couple of weeks. Um, so as a lot of you know, I had surgery on my knee on Friday. Um, just a little bit about that. Obviously, at the beginning of my prep for the SA shows and nationals, I cracked my cartilage. It's nothing major, but um, it needed to be repaired um, just because I didn't want to risk something happening, obviously, throughout my prep for Arnold's, which is obviously really, really important to me. So, yeah, I had that repaired on Friday. Um, everything's going really well, considering. Um, I've been at work all week as well, so that's been really good. Um, but yeah, just recovery time at the moment, obviously no training quads for Asha for a little while. Um, obviously just doing rehab, seeing my physio and trying to stimulate the muscle as much as possible just so I don't lose a whole lot of it. That's really important to me at the moment. Um, but yeah, just trying to rest it as much as possible. Um, but yeah, healing is going really well. And thank you everyone for all your love and support over the last week with my operation and the beautiful messages. Um, but yeah, it, it was nothing major um, to an extent, but yeah, it's just something that needed to be done. So didn't put anything at risk for my prep. Um, post comp, so I'm four weeks post comp at the moment. Uh, everything's very much well on track. My reverse diet went perfect. Um, I only re I put on a, f a couple of kilos, which is obviously um, the main goal. So I didn't I rebound hugely. I didn't blow out. I didn't put on too much weight. Um, all my hormones and everything have been in check. So everything's um, yeah functioning well. I have, don't have any issues or problems from the, the prep that I did. Um, so that's something I really encourage everyone to get checked as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything's... Uh, really good. I started um, my prep for Arnold, so I'll fill you in a little bit about that as well. Um, so yeah, obviously being post-comp, reverse went well, training's back on track, um, other than my leg, obviously. It's just going to be a lot of upper body work at the moment. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, everything's very, very good. Uh, yeah, work and everything's going really well. So if anyone's keen for a PT session or um, I've got some really good deals happening for Christmas, so jump, jump in before Christmas, it's getting really close. Some of your bodies are um, going to be out and about soon, so make sure you get yours prepared. And I'm also opening up meal guidelines again. So if anybody wants to jump on and grab a meal guideline, just let me know. I'm doing those at full ball again, so happy to get everyone on board and um, give their meal guidelines to them just before Christmas so summer bodies can be rocking at the beach and rocking at the river. Now, I went to Melbourne to see my new coach and my new team uh, nearly two weeks ago now. So that was really exciting. Um, it's such a huge thing that's happening in my life and um, it's so important to me that I'm a part of this team in Melbourne and having that um, that support and the knowledge behind that is incredible. So yeah, I went to Melbourne for four days. So I'll be doing that nearly every three weeks. So it's going to be, um, it's very time consuming, but in the, in the long run, it's going to be absolutely worth it. So um, I got my new training split, which is very, it's going to be very full on. Um, my diet is completely different. So it's a huge shock to my body and it's a huge shock to my system, but it's something new that's obviously going to make me better in the long run. Um, obviously, I need to improve areas that I didn't really need to know, didn't know that I needed to improve. So having someone um, with that detail eye look at you um, closely, obviously, that's really important. So I'm, it's really motivating to have a coach like that. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, yeah, so... When I went to Melbourne, I trained the four days out that I was there. So I'm there from Thursday to Monday. So I trained every day and it will be twice a day when I'm there next. Um, so just learning different types of styles of training and it's, it's a really good um, mind focus. So teaching me how to connect and 
really listen to my body and train my body to do things that I didn't know that they needed to do and to reach that particular goal. So yeah, it's really good, really good. And I'm really thankful that Team Future Muscle have taken me on and um, really, really given me the guidance that I, that I really needed. So yeah, that's really good. I'm really excited for this huge journey of mine. There's so many opportunities that are gonna come from it, um, especially being in Melbourne as well. So um, being able to network with so many people while I was there, it's just, it's such a warm and encouraging environment, especially being um, based at Doherty's the four days that I was there as well. So yeah, it's, yeah, absolutely incredible. And um, I really hope that if anyone's in Melbourne, just to pop down and come down and see me, I'll pretty much be there um, the whole time I'm hanging out there. So yeah, just come down and say hello. Um, diet at the moment. So I'm currently sitting on 3000 calories again. Um, it's so much food, but I love it so much. Um, my diet is gone very, very high carb. So I'm eating lots of carbs throughout the day at the moment, just trying to build my strength up. <clears throat> and obviously my metabolic rate as well. So I have things to cut back to when, when prep starts. So yeah, my diet has completely changed. I'm eating eight meals a day now instead of six. And that's been increased every two, two, two and a half hours. So yeah, it's a lot of food, um, but can't complain about having a lot of food, I guess, right? Um, but yeah, other than that, the diet's really, really great. I'm absolutely loving it. It's crazy being on a diet so sudden um, straight after comp again. So it's gonna be a long prep, but like I said, it's, it's more of a mental game for me at the moment. So learning to prep for 18 weeks is something that I haven't done for a really long time. So really getting in the focus and putting my priorities straight of where I wanna go. And obviously that's Arnold's. And I really want to do really well there, so that's why this is the path that I'm choosing to take for this prep. Um, yeah, so that's that's a little bit about my comp prep for Arnold's. Um, there's going to be so many new and exciting things, and I'm so excited to share it all with you. And I'll do my best to, to blog about it and keep you updated um, with all the changes as we go on. Um, the team, oh, it's. My, my new team, Team Future Muscle, they're obviously um, a, a blessing in disguise. They're all so lovely, um, they're all so motivating, um, and it's really great to be a part of such a huge team um, of competitors as well. So I'm um, really having that family support while I was there. Yeah, it was really beautiful. Um, all the guys and girls, yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I also got to, um, pose with Amy Wright while I was in Melbourne. So she's taken me on and um, she's teaching me a few tips and tricks of hers to help me with my posing for Arnold's. Obviously I'll be doing that um, as much as I need to while I'm over there. So that's really handy to have as well. So um, having that from Amy while I'm in Melbourne is um, absolutely superb. So yeah, I did, I did a posing class with her while I was there. I learnt a lot about myself and about my confidence and things that you don't pick yourself, obviously because I do all my posing um, pretty much by myself or with my old teammates. You don't really pick up on a lot of things because you get into your old habits and um, you don't really venture out too much and try new things. So yeah, it was really great for Amy to stand there and give me some guidance on posing because it is absolutely 100% the most important thing when you're on stage, you're posing. And as you'll see um, with some of the footage that Dilip's gonna play over from the IFBB Nationals, how important the posing really is. So yeah, it was really great to do that with Amy. So hopefully we'll be able to catch some of that footage um, of a posing class maybe next time I'm down. If not, it'll be, yeah, a few, few of the times that I'm there visiting. So yeah, I'll be able to share that with you as well. So that's really exciting as well. And if anyone's in Melbourne, then just hit Amy up um, for competition posing as well. Um, she knows her stuff and um, probably one of the best um, in Melbourne. So who wouldn't be posed, who, who doesn't want to be posed by an IFBB pro? So yeah, make sure you um, jump on her Facebook page and um, yeah, get in contact with her because it's yeah, really highly recommended by myself. Uh, plan for 2015. So obviously I've got my prep starting pretty much now 
for Arnold's. Um, so that's in full swing. Arnold's is a huge step in uh, the right direction for me. So that's my main priority at the moment. So I'm um, doing really well and staying really focused on that goal at the moment while enjoying life and working as well. <laughs> Um, but yeah, 2015 Arnold's is going to be a huge thing, just not for myself, but obviously for Team Massive Joes who have got um, a gold sponsor booth there at the, um, at the Arnold. So it's going to be a massive event. Um, just so pumped about it and I uh, can't wait to meet, uh, see everyone there. We're going to have Arnold come to our booth. It's just going to be, ah, my mind is absolutely blown by all the excitement that the Arnold's prep has given me already. So. Yeah, I'm really, really excited to be um, a part of yeah, two amazing teams at the Arnold's. So, yeah, that's really, really exciting for Massive Joes as well. Um, so, I've been, I've been Nationals, I've been asked about my feedback. So, I haven't actually got my feedback yet. Um, but once I do, yeah, I will let you know what happened with that. Um, obviously, there was 400 and something competitors. So, to get back to all of us... Um, it's it's quite difficult so yeah I'm just holding out with that at the moment but um, yeah like I said <clears throat> just with the footage that Dillip's gonna play over um, yeah just have a look at it it was you know a great show a great event um, I, I couldn't fold it at all really so the outcome of the show obviously if I was too lean or if I wasn't too lean I had too much muscle definition it doesn't really change the outcome now so I just have to try and work towards uh, bigger goals now and that's Arnold's so obviously tailoring my body to suit um, what they want at that particular competition so I'm just trying to build build at the moment obviously build everything up to make my waist look a little bit narrower and um, that's pretty much a main priority at the moment that I seem to be struggling with so just trying to bring my waist in and obviously not look like I'm so hard like I have been in the past. So um, yeah, that's pretty much my plan with that at the moment. Um, but yeah, like I said, as soon as I know the, the details on the feedback, then yeah, I will let you know as soon as possible. Um, if you have any questions or need any advice on anything that I've spoken about, obviously this is more just of a blog today. Um, I don't have any training footage for you today, but um, that will come to you next week and it will be upper body. <laughs> Unfortunately, no booty workouts for a little while. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you have any questions or need any advice, just hit me up on Facebook or um, Instagram or even through my email. Um, you can get me quite quickly on there. Uh, I get so many questions already and it's it's a true blessing. and it, I really, really want to help people with their journeys and um, it's so important to me that you connect with me just like I'm connecting with you. Um, that's what I'm here for and it's what I love doing and you know I wouldn't have it any other, other way. So yeah, like I said, or even if you're in Adelaide, just come down for a training session. I'm more than happy to block off some time and have a chat about where you want to take yourself. If you've got goals and dreams, then let's just do it. You know, there's no time no time wasting sitting around thinking about it just get out there and do it uh, summer's almost here so it's a really really good time to get motivated and start enjoying life the way that we should be so yeah if, like I said if you have any questions or need any advice just let me know on Facebook Instagram or um, email all my details are on my Facebook page um, or Instagram as well so they're everywhere at the moment just let me know um, if you have any questions then yeah I'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you everyone for listening to my blog today I do apologize that there is no training footage um, but I am on the men now so I will be back fighting strong and working out hard and shooting lots of videos for you so stay up to date with all the keeping up with Asha you know what to do hit the subscribe button just not to stay up to date with all my YouTube videos, but all the Massive Joe's YouTube videos as well. So there's so much information that's a knowledge that's being shared at the moment. So just make sure you get on um, to their websites, their YouTube videos, everything. Um, subscribe to, just to stay up to date. And 
coming to you from massivejoes.com.